Portal. You son of a bitch. Splitgate is a free-to-play, multiplayer, first-person arena shooter developed and published by 1047 Games. It was released in early access in May of 2019 for PC on Steam and for consoles in July of 2021. In August of 2021, the developers announced that the game would stay in beta indefinitely and at the same time release Season 0. The game revolves around Halo-inspired combat in battle arenas, where players can create portals between two points on the map and fire weapons or travel through them. Splitgate's Steam player base averages around 2000 players at the moment. The game got a huge boost with its end of early access, but has since then dwindled significantly each month, which is pretty normal for newly released free-to-play titles. But in Europe and on PC I never had to wait to start a new match. Splitgate is an arena shooter, and if you played any other in the past, like Unreal Tournament, Quake 3 or Halo 2, you will feel right at home. Movement is pretty fast, and you don't lose any accuracy while running or jumping. There are no health and armor pickups, and your health will recharge after a few seconds of not taking damage. You are able to sprint, and jumping in Splitgate is pretty floaty, making you an easy target if you just jump around. If you jump again while in the air, you will activate your jetpack. The jetpack in Splitgate is mostly used for carrying you further horizontally while jumping. The vertical boost is not that great, so you can't really fly up to a new position. You can burn everything for one big jump or use shorter bursts that can carry you further. And the jetpack's fuel will recharge pretty quickly after a few seconds of not using it. You are able to place a purple and a yellow portal and have a specific button for each, so you can close one of them or replace them easily. Portals will only function on special blue surfaces and need some area to work. So if a teammate has already placed a portal on a smaller area, you can't place yours. You can see, shoot and move through your own portals. With other portals, be it an enemy or allied, you can only shoot and move through them, but not see through them. To differentiate between active and deactive portals, watch out for the color and static inside the ring. To close an enemy portal, you can throw an EMP grenade at it. These will only destroy enemy portals and not damage any player. The weapon arsenal consists mostly of standard shooter weapons, nothing really surprising. If you played Halo 2, you will feel right at home. You are limited to only carrying two weapons at the same time. So again, more like Halo than Quake. But you can instantly switch between them if your ammunition runs out. Pistol, SMG, carbine, assault rifles, burst fire rifle, sniper, shotgun, but also a rocket launcher, a railgun and a plasma rifle. You also have access to the BFB, a melee bat weapon that one hit kills enemies. The attack will even pull you into the enemy from some distance away, but be aware, if you picked it up in team deathmatch, the bat has a charge and only a few attacks will one hit kill your enemies. Afterwards, it behaves the same as your own melee attack. Depending on the game mode, you will have access to different loadouts or you can pick weapons up from the ground, as in any traditional deathmatch. And you always have access to a melee attack that deals 50 damage normally, so you need two hits to kill a fully healed player. Melee damage will increase with momentum, so if you gain enough, through falling for example, you can one-shot enemies with your melee attack. Splitgate comes with a multitude of game modes. They even add new timed game modes every few days, so some of these game modes may not be available at the moment. If you play quick play, you can pick and choose which game modes you want to play. With ranked, the selection is limited. Sadly, you can only select a collection of game modes and not one specific to play, so you need to hope for the right voting results in the match to get the game mode you want. There's also a practice mode to try everything out, races to better learn portal placements, and a map editor was added with the newest update. There's of course the standard team deathmatch. You start with a carbine and assault rifle, all other weapons can be picked up. You even get a timer on the weapon spawns. In Domination, you need to control three zones to gather points. The more players on a point, the faster you can capture it. So go help out your teammates. One capture the flag is similar to the normal capture the flag, but only one team defends and one attacks each round. You can't use portals while carrying the flag, but you can use it to one-hit kill enemies. Instagib is a classic Unreal Tournament mode. Everyone gets a one-shot kill railgun with a faster charge. Team SWAT is just team deathmatch with pre-selected weapons, battle rifle and carbine. A sniper shotty is also team deathmatch with pre-selected weapons, but snipers and shotguns this time. Every kill in gun game gives you a new weapon. Get all 20 weapons to win. If you kill someone in melee, you will deduct one weapon rank from them. In Fiesta, each time you spawn you are given a random loadout. This means you can go from having a loadout of weapons suited for close range to long range immediately after dying. It's a fun game mode that gets you used to all the different weapons in the game and how to use them effectively under pressure. 
Oddball is a team-based mode in which two teams compete to retain control of the oddball, a large disco ball. Teams gain control of the ball by a team member picking the ball up. This causes the player to lose the ability to use weapons to defend themselves, but they can still melee attack with the ball as well as make and use portals. Each second the ball is held will give one point for the team. The split ball is like oddball, but removes all weapons from the game except for the BFB and the ball. Movement speed is increased to 150% and portals are disabled. Takedown is a team deathmatch mode where a team wins if all other players of the enemy team are dead at the same time. Each consecutive death of a team member will increase the respawn timer for that team. So maybe run away if you are the last one alive on your team and wait for your team to respawn. Takedown is also one of the ranked modes and a fairly unique mode to Splitgate that I haven't seen in any other game. The combination of normal team deathmatch with the spawn mechanic and portals make for some great matches. The battle pass and unlocks in Splitgate are purely cosmetic. Player models, weapon skins, effects and so on. You don't really need anything to fully enjoy the game. You can place portals through your own portal. You just need to move past the blurry part and stand on the edge. After placing a new portal, stepping back will transport you there instantly. Falling through portals will also carry your momentum, allowing you to shoot out of the other side. If you're treating through your own portal, it may be a good idea to close it to block any enemies from pursuing you. Footsteps in Splitgate are extremely loud. Get a pair of headphones to better listen for them. Watch the radar. In some game modes it will show you the position of enemies, even if they are above or below you. But the radar isn't available in ranked matches. Don't jump around too often. It's very floaty and makes you an easy target. But try to use your jetpack to attack from different angles. The gravity in the game is pretty low, so it can be difficult to fall down openings to quickly escape enemies. What the fuck is that? If you don't need your portals at the moment, place them somewhere the enemy can see them. Some players will just fire blindly at enemy portals, so you can trick them from firing at your team. Switching to a secondary weapon is faster than reloading. Water is instant death, you can't swim. Aim your portal low, so you can always walk through them. If they are too high, you will get stuck and need to jump. Your melee attack deals more damage, the more momentum you have. So try to hit your enemy while falling. You can change your crosshair in the options menu. Shoot through your portal at an angle, so enemies have a harder time hitting you. Your crosshair will turn red if aiming at an enemy through a portal. There is a practice range to try out everything. Always have one of your portals placed somewhere, so you can escape easily. To see if an enemy is looking through his portal, watch out for the blinking border. If defending an area, use your own portal to block smaller portal areas, so enemies can't backstab you. Use your portal as a window to fire down long hallways or through cubes and walls. Learn how many shots it takes to get a player down to 50 health, to easily kill him in melee. I think Splitgate is a fairly good arena shooter that throws me right back to Halo 2 or even my Unreal Tournament in Quake 3 times. The gameplay is pretty fun, especially the portal plays you can do, but the sound and art direction are a little lackluster. While you can differentiate every weapon by their sound, which is incredibly important with competitive shooters, the weapons sound just lack a little punch to make them really shine. The same can be said about the art direction. I'm not talking about the polygon count or how much bump mapping was applied, but how the weapon and player models and the visual aspect of level design are really not that outstanding. Don't get me wrong, they get the job done, and you can always patch in better weapons and player skins later through the battle pass. But I would have liked if they had some more character and not just bland assault rifle number 2. And some interface or quality of life changes need to be made. Why can't I directly select the game what I want, but need to hope for the right voting results to play it? And I'm not really a fan of the ammo indicator positioned in the top right, but they probably got that from Halo. But don't let that scare you. The most important part, the gameplay, is really great. And after all, we're talking about a small indie developer here. So give it a try. It's free to play and just one download away. Game over.